From a moment the J-36 slipped its shadowy outline across a remote Chinese test range in late 2024, the world felt a shudder. Here was no mere evolutionary update to existing platforms. This was an outright declaration of technological and strategic intent. As decades passed under the wing of American air supremacy, Beijing quietly assembled the means to rewrite the rules of the sky. The J-30 success sleek, tailless form speaks of a new confidence, an unspoken challenge to the old order of Western dominance, massed in ghostly curves and cutting-edge alloys. It wasn't only the jet's uncanny resemblance to a stealth bomber that caught attention, but its intimate scale and startling agility. Where massive bombers lumber, the J-36 dances, its broad delta wings and seamlessly blended fuselage crafted to slip through enemy radar nets like a phantom. Analysts whisper that its frontal radar cross-section may even undercut that of the legendary F-22, granting Chinese pilots a lethal right to fire the first shot in any encounter. Imagine the thunderous surprise in an adversary's cockpit when a missile screams toward them before their systems ever register a threat. Yet true power lies beyond stealth alone. The J-36 marches into a new era where information is as decisive as velocity. Beneath its sculpted skin pulses a network of the latest AI-driven sensors. Infrared, passive radar, LIDAR, and satellite data converging in real time to feed pilots a singular, hyper-accurate battle space picture. The cockpit, far from a sea of gauges, becomes an interactive command center. Wide touch screens, helmet-mounted displays projecting targeting solutions, and AI co-pilots ready to anticipate maneuvers. In this realm, a human mind merges with machine precision, cutting decision loops to a fraction of what older fighters achieve. Whispers of a three-engine layout only deepen the mystique. In an era when parity often meant twin engines for best balance, China's bold choice hints at ambition unrestrained by convention. Three high-thrust turbofans promise sustained supersonic crews, unheard of range, and redundancy that no rival platform can match. Imagine patrols that circle the first island chain and still have fuel to spare for deep strikes on forward tankers, AWACS, and command aircraft, the very linchpins of American power projection. With an unrefueled radius rumored beyond 1,800 nautical miles, the J-30 SXS shadow could stretch from Hainan to Guam, from Fujin to the open Pacific. Its ordnance bays conceal further surprises. Air-to-air -air missiles, anti-radiation weapons designed to blind air defenses, even hypersonic glide vehicles, each stored internally to preserve that precious stealth profile. When a moment comes, doors part, weapons surge forth, and the J-36 slips back into invisibility. No bulky pylons betray its presence. No exhaust plume betrays its course. It is the embodiment of surprise, a silent reaper stalking high-value targets deep behind enemy lines. Still, China refuses a one-size-fits-all approach. Alongside the heavy J-36 emerges a leaner, twin-engine variant, compact, agile, and tailored for carrier decks. Shenyang's smaller fighter promises high sortie rates from Liaoning and future-type 003 vessels, ensuring that China's navy can swarm contested waters with both strategic heavies and nimble fighters. This two-pronged force structure sends a clear message. Wherever Western powers seek to assert themselves, from Taiwan's shores to the contested airspace above the South China Sea, China will have the right platform for the mission at hand. From Washington to Canberra, defense planners are on edge. The F. 22 Raptor, though formidable, flies on borrowed time, its production halted years ago. America's next-generation air dominance program races against the clock to field a worthy successor, but congressional battles and industrial bottlenecks threaten to slow its progress. In Europe, Tempest and FCS wrestle with partnership frictions and lofty requirements. Meanwhile, China moves with centralized will, forging prototypes in record time and leveraging lessons learned without the need for endless debate. The result? A high-stakes duel in the sky, where the J-36 may well steal a march on all competitors. But the J-30SXS significance reaches beyond aircraft counts and budget figures. It symbolizes the shifting tectonics of global power. For decades, Western air forces have perched atop the world's most advanced fighter fleets, enforcing no-fly zones and projecting force at will. The J. 
36 unsettles that certainty. It tells allied governments, from Tokyo to New Delhi to Paris, that the age of uncontested Western dominance is waning. It casts a long shadow over U.S. carrier strike groups and their ability to operate within reach of Chinese coastal defenses. It forces a recalibration of alliances, new investments in low-frequency radars, infrared search and track systems, and distributed sensor webs to counter the phantom menace. Even more potent is the psychological edge. By draping itself in secrecy, China fuels speculation. What other capabilities lie hidden? Electronic warfare packages able to jam or hijack enemy data links. Cyber offensive modules capable of injecting false information or scrambling adversary communications mid flight. Each unanswered question magnifies the J30SXS deterrent value. Potential adversaries must allocate precious resources to defend against threats that might never fully materialize, sapping budgets and eroding focus. Of course, no platform is invincible. Western engineers push back with multi-static radar networks, space-based infrared sensors, and AI-driven data fusion designed to detect the faintest signatures. Unmanned loyal wing men join manned fighters, probing air defenses and drawing responses in fires that expose stealth assets. In this fast-evolving dance of measure and countermeasure, success will hinge on who can process raw data into actionable insight fastest who can harden networks against cyber intrusion, and who can maintain advantage when satellites, drones, and stealth jets all collide in contested airspace. Yet for China, the J-36 is more than technology. It is an instrument of national pride and strategic dignity. It declares that the era of passive catch-up is over, that China will no longer bow to Western technological gatekeepers. It proclaims a new chapter where Beijing defines the standards where its aerospace engineers set the pace, its pilots hold the skies, and its partners look eastward for advanced weaponry. In subtle defiance of Western hegemony, the J-36 embodies a narrative of resurgence, the Middle Kingdom reclaiming its role as a leading innovator and regional security guarantor. Behind this sleek silhouette lies a deliberate cultivation of ambiguity. China reveals only enough to unsettle rivals. Withholding details on production numbers, deployment timelines, and operational doctrine. In doing so, it ensures that every military planner must assume the worst, erecting elaborate defenses that drain treasure and attention. In deterrence theory, perception often outweighs reality. The specter of the J-36 may achieve more than the jet itself ever does. Whether the J-36 will enter mass production by 2030 remains to be seen. Experts debate whether its tri-engine marvels will meet durability standards, whether its avionics will outpace glitches, and whether logistics can scale behind a platform so advanced. Yet even the promise of these breakthroughs exerts strategic pressure. It compels adversaries to push NGAD faster, to pour billions into counter-stealth radar, and to accelerate multinational fighter programs in Europe and Asia. In this spirit, the J-36 is both spear and shield projecting strength abroad and safeguarding China's rise against containment. As dawn breaks on the next generation of aerial warfare, the J-36 stands as both Marvel and Manifesto. It fuses kinetic power with digital warfare, human nerve with machine learning, and physical speed with information dominance. It challenges not just enemy fighters, but the entire premises of Western-led security architecture in the Indo-Pacific. The question is no longer whether the U.S. can match China's technological strides, but whether it can adapt alliances, doctrines, and budgets swiftly enough to hold onto the high ground. When the first J-36 squadron rises from its Chinese hangars, it will carry more than bombs and missiles. It will bear the hopes and anxieties of a world in flux. For some, it represents the dawn of a more multipolar age, where no single power dictates the skies. For others, it symbolizes a new axis of competition, where every sortie risks friction or escalation. In the charged air above contested waters, every radar ping, every sensor flicker, and every stealthy silhouette will reverberate far beyond the battlefield, shaping the course of nations and the arc of history itself. China's J-36 is more than an aircraft. It is the harbinger of a transformed air war paradigm, and a provocative assertion that the era of unquestioned Western air dominance is drawing to a close. And in that seismic shift 
lies both peril and promise. A future where the skies belong not to the fastest or the stealthiest alone, but to those who master the fusion of steel, silicon, and strategy in equal measure.